a planktonic algae, so these can be just a discoloration in your water, but these can also be that scum formers you see that can turn all sorts of uh, colors on the water surface. Uh, these are often your, your blue-green algae or your cyanobacteria, your, your known toxin and taste and odor problem producers. So, you know, really bad news in water bodies and something, you know, it's, it's important to, you know, to address. So, uh, you know, again, our, the reactive copper products here are going to be great at getting, getting control if you have an issue, but aeration and nutrient management can help sort of offset that regrowth and, and be proactive at controlling uh, these nuisance planktonic algae. And this here, here's a close-up of one site, you know, it's real nasty, it can be this bright blue color, you know, this was a cyanobacteria, they have this blue-green pigment, hence the name blue-green algae, that can, that can turn all these different colors, but uh, can, can really, you know, grow rampantly and infest a site and, and cause a, you know, cause a health issue to both, you know, wildlife and, and your turf if you're irrigating out of it. Now, if you run into something, you know, these thick mat formers are real thick, nasty scum, and you don't know what to, what to do with it, you don't know where to begin, uh, like lingvia, for example, these, these thick filaments with mucilaginous sheath on it, real slimy, you know, Captain XDR is going to be your go-to algicide in these situations. You know, it has a surfactant built right in, it is a chelated copper, and there's no irrigation restrictions but it can, it can control tough algae through this concept of infusion. It's sticking to the algae, getting right through the defenses, and getting you good control of a lot of these thick mats. So, you know, great, one of the toughest uh, algicidal products out there. Algae side, uh, Sea Clear, I mentioned this one. This is a neat one. This is, this is the one you should be using routinely. This is your go-to foundation to routine in algae management programs. It's, it is a copper-based algae site, you know, so there's no irrigation restrictions, but it's a lot more than that. It's the only registered water quality enhancer, so it's improving clarity, it's taking out a little bit of phosphorus with every application, and really being proactive against those algae. Can, can get you great con control, but also give you long-term control uh, with this Sea Clear program. So right around two and a half to five gallons per surface acre every two to three weeks, and, and that will offset the majority of your algae issues. And, uh, you know, just a little data here with Sea Clear, comparing it with copper sulfate. You know, with the Sea Clear program, we're able to rapidly get control of some of your nuisance scum forming cyanobacteria. This is mainly microcystis here, but we kept it down. We got long term control. We took out some nutrients. We changed that system, you know, with that water quality enhancer piece and, uh, you know, really gave us a good foundation for a routine program. Whereas copper sulfate, you know, it can work, it can kill some algae certainly, but it didn't do anything to change that environment. That algae grew right back and you needed another application of copper sulfate. And uh, often you fall into that, you know, routine there. So again, Sea Clear, much more, you know, proactive, but also can be very good reactive, you know, control of some of these nuisance types.